Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Talking Japanese Plastic. Today I am taking a look at taking a look at the uh, Kamen Rider Wizard Phantom and Machine Winger set. That's not supposed to be like that. And the Wizard Action Play or WAP Kamen Rider Wizard Flame Style. Now I'm not usually much for buying action figures on their own, but Without him, the other set wouldn't be anywhere near as cool. Now, before I get to that, the main attraction, let's go over Wizard Action Play Guys. I had him set up so he's doing his henchin into heat. I like that we've got a ring on each hand. The hands are... the fingers have dual articulation. So you've got that, and then the finger, the two fingers that have the ring on them the ring sticks out a little and will help kind of push that one along. Uh, nice detailing, decent enough posability. I'm not going to go over all of it. It's kind of... It's basic, but it's nice. It gets everything you need. It does everything I need it to do. Uh, what I didn't realize when buying this guy was that Wizard Action Play is apparently light up. Uh, see a little better when it's not... The light's not directly at you. There's also a hole in the back of the head, and I'm not sure why that's there yet. Didn't need it, but that's eh, nice. Wish there was a way to. Wish it was more like a switch on the back so you could click it on or off. Because right now it only works when you're holding it, and thus there's no way to keep it on. I bought him because Wizard Action Play figures are perfectly set up to be in scale with this big guy, who is awesome. I couldn't be happier with this little set. I mean,. Yeah, you can look at pictures, and you can see the show, and you know how the toy's gonna work out. But this is very nice quality. All the joints feel nice and smooth and solid. The whole piece feels solid. Everything kind of just works and clicks. It's very nice. We start out, start out with a uh, little guy, the Machine Winger. It's a bulky version of Wizard's bike, mainly due to the transformation. It's got the little old training wheels on the bottom, but it's kind of a necessity, and I'm glad for them because the table I'm reviewing on here is has a soft top, so it's kind of hard to get some things to stand. Wizard's like lying on his side off to the side here, because getting an action figure to stand on this table is not an easy task. And you don't want to sit here and watch me fiddle with that for like 20 minutes. So here he is, and that's kind of it to show off until I uh, until we get into the transformation and such. It's got handlebars, the mirrors, these are soft so that when wizards posed on them, they move around. You don't have to worry about being too rigid and hard to pose with anything. Beautiful gold color on the paint, you know. Some swirls in this gray plastic, but it's ah, it's not that big a deal. It kind of looks nice and everything. Wheels do spin, despite the fact that they split in half. Wow, that one spins really well. And that is essentially all it's it for the Machine Winger until we get into more. Now, before I move forward, I am going to stick a wizard on there. I'm not going to worry about it looking too good. But his hands grip the handlebars perfectly. Once you get them uh, situated and gripped. Perfect. He looks great on them. His head can tilt up a little bit, so he appears as if he's right. So he looks more realistic when he's riding. And he looks great on the thing. And that's why I had to get, you know, at least one wizard figure. Like one action figure from the set. So I had something to ride this and interact with everything else, which is pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the big guy. Dragon. He is fantastic. I love the plastic. I love the gold used throughout him. Uh, the face sculpt looks fantastic. All these crystals are... They're not solid. They're actually hollow, which at first was, I thought was weird, but it allows the light to kind of dance around in them more. If it were sunnier out, you might be able to see a little more of that. But as we're doing right now, it's mostly uh, inside delight that I'm dealing with. You know, you've got 
some posability, but there's not really a point to it, because it's pretty much, it's this or his other mode, and that's kind of it. Any, I mean, well... Nah, see, anything, everything gets kind of weird. Uh, that's all I can really think of to go over for him in dragon mode. You've got his wings and everything. Now, undersides even detailed. Everything about this guy is detailed. It scales on pretty much everything that's gold. Even if it's just the gold plastic has the scales uh, molded into it. Which is it's a great touch, and that's really everywhere on this thing. Now, of course, if you know the show, you know that Wizard often has to ride his dragon. And how the heck is Wizard going to ride the dragon? Well, he does that by combining his motorcycle with it. So there's the bike, and I love this. You don't have to take him off the bike at all for this transformation. So you... Ah, that happens sometimes. The overall joints are also detachable, so sometimes the uh, when I'm when you're splitting the center, those joints will come undone. It's quite a pain. Let's try and do this again, hopefully without splitting the damn thing. This is the points where they'll actually are attached at and where they might pop off. So unfold the wings out or the bike out. And snap them up again so that they're curved upwards. And you flip these out at the base, and you've got the beautiful red circle dragon wings. And you've just got two little, uh, there we go, two little pegs here. Two. Damn it! His tail is not one piece, which is kind of annoying, but I think they did it for shipping, even though it was all one piece in the in the package. But, back to what I was saying, you can see the two gold little points on top, and that's where these go. You gotta be careful, the front of this has to go kind of under one of the scales right here. But aside from that, the whole thing just drops on, clips on, and you can position a uh, wizard how you like him. They're closed up again. I wish, I, I was under the impression the whole time I've been watching the show that the regular wings kind of integrated with the motorcycle wings. And if they do, it's not represented on the toy. There's not really, I mean, the wings can angle a little bit and maybe kind of flow a little better, but overall, nothing different. But now, Dragon has this real serious wingspan. And you can, what I really, I love that the uh, circles molded into the wheels, the, the magic circles that are a common motif for a wizard. And that's him riding a dragon, which is pretty awesome. That alone was pretty cool. But I'm not going to buy a transforming robot that does that if that's all it does. I need something bigger and better. Excuse me. We will pop this back off so we can get it from the back. I will return this to bike form. Again, you don't have to take Wizard off to switch from one mode to the other for the bike. It kind of folds up under him, or unfolds from under him. And we'll get back to him in a moment. Because now, it's time to turn this into a giant foot. You see, every common Rider, as long, well, almost every common Rider, their final attack has, always, has almost always been the Rider Kick, a flying jump kick of doom with various levels and types of special effects that utterly annihilates their opponent at the end of a battle. Now, Wizard occasionally is fighting these giant monsters called Phantoms that are live inside people. I'm not going to get into that, and you can look it up on your own. So, how do you kill a giant monster when you're just a regular sized dude? Well, when you've got the power of Dragon, uh, you turn dragon into a giant freaking dragon foot, and you kick that thing, you kick the dragon foot into the giant monster. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. I, man, I love wizard. <laughs> uh, well, the easiest thing to do first for this is just, the neck does have a joint here. Goes all the way back, and then collapse it. And... 
and then pull this all the way up, just flip it back, and flip the dragon head all the way down. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll do this next. Take the rear feet, and those just flip back, and that is one of the things I was talking about. This is such a smooth, fluid feel, and they they clip in with almost no effort and yet hold completely solid. It's a very high quality toy in my in my opinion. Easiest thing next is we take the whole tail. Hopefully you don't pop that off. You want to take the actual here, the base. I'm popping it off again. This is of course it only happens in a review. And you've got this double hinge here. And you can see that down here We've got this little tab, and there is a clip for the tab at the underside of the dragon. Move that out of the way. And that clips into place. And you're going to want to take this thing and just pop it back. You'll see why in a minute. Now we've got this kind of weird folded up dragon. Actually wing, that's a good idea. You want to take the front paws and move them up a little bit so that you can bend these wings fold them, or tilt them backwards. And once they're tilted backwards, they will clear these supports that are for the uh, machine winger's wings. And there's a tab in there, and a little like peg and post up here, and this all forms one solid piece. Now we can move these all the way forward. Oh, should have flipped that out first. Flip the feet up, do that. And now we can flip these guys down. And last but not least, you can, and there's actually, you can feel tabs for that, and you split the uh, other feet out to either side. And there is the bottom of the dragon foot. That would be what, this is what actually contacts the monster. And you can see bristling, well not bristling, but you got five of these nice, lovely red crystals embedded in gold along the whole thing. It's a very nice look. And we've got, bam, our giant dragon foot. Now this on its own is not enough. Hold on a sec, let me remove Wizard from his bike. Because what he does is, normally this trans... He jumps off the thing and everything transforms midair. So this is like rocketing towards the ground. Then the bike is rocketing towards it. You flip this little guy up and there is a little hole there. And there's this little uh, cavity chamber there. That chamber will hold this. And then the uh, little post here is gonna go into that little hole. A little tricky sometimes. Hmm, very tricky today. There it goes. Huh. Weird, just being a pain for no apparent reason. That's lovely. So now we have... Hold on a sec. I might have to readjust everything. So now we have a giant dragon that is now a giant foot with a motorcycle attached to the back of it. And I don't know if you can notice, there's a little post back here on the bike. And I was wondering what was up with that because there's no, there's nowhere on the wizard figure to like plug that in. I thought it was there to keep him attached to the bike when he's riding. Oh no, it's for when he's doing his rider kick from uh, atop the thing. See, down in here, there's actually a little uh, channel. There's a little spot that is foot-shaped for Wizard's foot. Oh, let me get him kind of posed. So you get that, it doesn't lock in or anything, but it's, you situate it in there. And you can get his uh, rear foot pegged in. Do whatever kind of posing you want. Get him in the fists. And 
There, hopefully that looks kind of heroic and cool. Not as much as I'd like it to, but hey. And then you've got Wizard there, who would normally, this would be rocketing through the air down at his opponent. Let's see it from an angle with him kicking the crap out of it. And this is so ridiculous that I can't not love it. And especially when you see it in action. It's so over the top that I, ha I just fell in love. I'm like, this is, this is great. This is awesome. I'm going to keep watching this show. And just for added fun, it's not going to work too well, because as I said, this table's grit not good for balancing. But with these guys back here, the actual wheels, and these little wheels up here, the whole thing does stand, and I'm not going to push it because it'll fall right over, and it will roll. So if you wanted to, uh, you could, I guess, shove it towards someone, and that would be kicking them, or set up a giant monster, and BAM! And it gets taken out. It's kind of weird. But I, I, I love this thing. I am so happy I picked it up. The, it's ridiculous. It's a transforming dragon. Everything on its own in its regular non-giant form mode, or giant foot mode, looks fantastic. And I can't get enough of this guy. The wizard action play figure, eh, it's not the greatest figure, but I'm not looking for anything crazy. I don't need a figure arts or anything like that. I just needed something that was the correct size and scale and looked good enough. And this guy looks more than good enough with it. So that is my review of Wizard Action Play Flame Style and the Phantom Dragon and Machine Winger set. Uh, if, if you're a fan of the show, seriously guys, pick them up. They're, they're worth it. Especially if, you've get, if you can pick up a little figure to go along with the whole set. Well, this has been Talking Japanese Plastic. Uh, we'll be back with the next one, which I believe is when we get into a little more wizard stuff. See you then.